scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. The Lord put just one word in my heart for us tonight and then we'll pray. Just one word and then we'll pray. As I prepared for this meeting, I sense that one of the things that the Lord will be doing is tonight to employ the power of prophecy. Prophecy is very powerful. I don't know how many times I will teach and encourage us, believe in prophecy. Now there are imbalances here, there are exaggerations here, there are dabblings here and there, but you will be mistaken to ever want to rise ignoring the power of prophecy and as i explored the spirit of god took me to a scripture that blessed me so much just one scripture and then we'll pray hallelujah ezra chapter 6 hallelujah by the way wonderful wonderful testimonies how many of you were blessed by the testimonies Remember that the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. That means that when you listen, it puts faith in your heart and you commit God to reproduce the same result. Powerful testimony. Um, and then for the gentleman to hear, Kai, God, eh? God has been good to us. So I hope you know that, Koinonia. Honestly speaking, sometimes we get used to these miracles we get used to you know my prayer every time is lord i know i'm the one you are using but may i never get used to your power it's easy coming here tonight my prayer is not oh god move mm -mm. my prayer is oh god bless your people i don't pray and say lord make sure your anointing works um that's that's not a wise prayer the issue is not for the anointing to work. The issue is that it be done as it is in heaven. Exactly what God wants delivered. And I just sat down. I said, God, you have been good to me. And you have been good to us as a family of faith. So I think it's a wonderful thing that I don't think we should take for granted. Praise the Lord. In all your ways. This is already a word for someone in all your ways sometimes we are very quick to see what god has not done yet the miracle is in thanking him for what he has done the last gentleman his testimony blessed me so much he saw that his brother or his son or whatever had something had started many people will say god i'm watching God will say you won't see the rest because you are not a grateful person. Ten lepers were sent. They were healed. Only one returned back and said, Lord, I'm grateful. He said, were there not ten of you? Where are the other nine? And he said, you, you are whole. So learn, learn to acknowledge everything. If you tell God, give me ten naira and someone calls you and say, I will give you money, start thanking him. Don't say, Lord, it has not come. Lord, the fact that you can think about that. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Learn this. 
my entire life, eighty percent of my prayer is thanksgiving. There is what God does for you. You almost feel guilty asking for anything again. Are we together now? The grace of God. While I sat back there, I was just watching this. I said, my God. Now this gentleman, think of what his testimony will do to the salvation of someone. These are the kinds of testimonies that will force unbelievers to go and think. You can't hear this kind of testimony and pretend they are called notable miracles. Are we together now? Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we bless you. Let your name be glorified. In the name of Jesus. Ezra chapter 6, verse 14. God, what's that song? Where's the gentleman? He's not here. It's a chant I like. Jews, listen, build it and they prospered. How? Through the prophesyings of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo. They prospered through the prophesying, not through building materials. They prospered. They were building while he was speaking. And the Bible says the secret of their prosperity was that there was the prophesying of Haggai, the prophet, and Zechariah, the son of Edo. They said they built it and finished it according to the commandment of the God of Israel. God commanded it. The prophets prophesied it. The men built it and the building finished. Are you getting what I'm saying now? The Bible says they prospered not through the quality of their building materials. They prospered, not just through the quality of their leadership. The Bible says they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai, the prophet. They prospered through the prophesying. They were healed through the prophesying. Their lives changed through the prophesying. These were prophets I'm sure when the prophets spoke to them, they said, okay, let's watch to see what happens. But they forgot that God confirms the words of his prophets. When I found this scripture, it blessed me in no small way. So I can prosper through prophecy. I can prosper through prophecy. Prosperity there doesn't just mean to have money. It means to excel. It means to do well. That means my life can change. You've heard me say it again and again that the prophetic is powerful. When the prophetic is used accurately and within the context of its relevance, there is no limit, no limit to what it can produce. Very simple scripture tonight. They build it. So the Bible is honest to tell us they were building but that the energy, the spiritual factor responsible for that prophecy is not the dexterity of their building, but through the prophesying, not the prophecy, the prophesying, continual speaking. Not that he spoke once. They didn't just prosper through his prophecy. He's prophesying. So he said, in the name of Jesus, God bless you. And they came back again. We are building and he said, you just build while I speak. They prospered through the prophesying. I have seen 
what prophecy can do. The Bible is full of the wonders that happened to men when the spirit of prophecy was allowed to find expression. The power of prophecy was classically shown in the vision of Ezekiel. The Bible lets us know that Ezekiel was taken to a valley that was full of dry bones. Listen carefully. The Bible says the bones were very dry. Not only very dry, the bones were not together. The fact that you cannot find it does not mean it's not available. The bones were there. They were out of sight, but they were still in existence, waiting for prophecy to bring them together. Are you getting what I'm saying? For as long as a prophetic word did not come, those bones remained there. And then he says, son of man, can these bones live? He says, only thou knowest. And then he said, prophesy. He said, I prophesied as I was commanded. When God commands and you prophesy, he confirms. I prophesied not as I wanted, not as I chose to, but as I was commanded. And the next thing that happened was there was a sound, the Bible says. That shaking and bones began to look for themselves. Bones talk of structures, structures. Son of man, prophesy again to the four winds and say, O winds, breathe upon this slain. And he prophesied again as commanded. And the Bible declares that the wind came, entered into these bodies without life, and they arose an exceeding great army. I believe with all my heart that's what God is going to do over someone's life. Son of man, can this situation live again? Son of man, can your life live again? Son of man, can your finances live again? Can the fire upon your life be rekindled again? Can the doors be opened again? Again means once upon a time, they were not bones. They never started as bones. They started as an army. Something happened and reduced them back to become bones that were very dry. Another incident, the Bible says that the sons of the prophet were with Elisha and they said, where we meet with you is too small. Let us go beyond the Jordan. And the Bible says he granted them permission and while they were cutting the tree, the axe head fell. And one of the sons of the prophet said, alas, master, for it was borrowed. You thought that the prophet would sit down and say, Tom, what do we do? He said, no, where fell it? And he showed him the place and he carried a stick. A stick. God's methodology sometimes can be strange, but it works. That's why you have to walk by faith. Listen, very simple teaching tonight, but it will change your life. And he threw that stick and against gravity, the axe head began to float. Another time, there was hunger in the land of Samaria. The hunger was so bad that the Bible records that women were eating their children. Nigeria has not gotten to that level. I'm not sure of any nation in the world where people have been hungry. I'm not talking of cannibalism as a spirit. But that hunger will make a mother. Imagine your child and you look at your child and carry your child to the kitchen and cut your child and eat a whole child in one day. Two women. Remember that was the agreement. There was no record that they shared that child with any neighbor or anything. Imagine the hunger. That means it was not a natural hunger that will make people eat a, a plate of food is not up to a child's head. Yet two people ate a whole child. Is that a normal hunger? And by the next day, it was the turn to eat the child of the other woman. And she protected the child. And that was where fight came from. That means hunger can bring fight. That means one of the principles of peace is abundance. That when there is enough, there is love. There is understanding. Is that true? 
Hunger brought a contention between two people who were once friends. But that's not my point. The king comes and then finds out that two women are fighting and the king gets angry. and say, where is this man? Where is this prophet? Let's, 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 the anger. What is happening? Why is this land in a state of famine and drought? Bottom line, the news reaches the prophet and all of that, the king wanting to kill him and all of that. And then the prophet prophesies and says, by this time, if the prophet said abundance will come, it would have never come because he did not add a time component to it. Notice that every time the prophets speak, they carry the realities in the realm of the spirit that are timeless. They are called timeless possibilities. Possibilities with no time frame attached to them. It is prophecy that allocates the time for their manifestation. Listen very carefully. The realm of the spirit is a compendium of possibilities with no time allocated to them. Listen carefully. What you call time is only dependent on two things. One, that your life synchronizes with God's predeterminate counsel. Are we together? Or number two, that by the power of prophecy, a time is allocated to that possibility are made to find expression on earth. It is this reality that can allow to shift things that would have happened in your yesterday but was hijacked by spirits because the realm of the spirit has timeless possibilities. Prophecy can shift what would have happened three years and bring it into your tomorrow and make it happen. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Very powerful. Remember, you cannot do anything about time. Once time passes, that's it. But the Bible tells us that prophecy is able to lift things and bring them into the future and rename them and give them dates to appear again. So if a woman is supposed to have had three children in her 15 years of marriage and the devil hijacked her womb, what prophecy does is that you can speak to that woman and God will take those children that would have been and bring them and the woman will be pregnant with triplets. You see that? Prophecy. The victory of the saints is at the mercy of their understanding the operation of the kingdom. The victory of the saints is not just dependent on the finished work of Christ. Please listen. The victory of the saints is not just dependent on the finished work of Christ. The victory of the saints is dependent on their comprehending the operations of the kingdom. What I call the ordinances of heaven. God's system of making possibilities manifest. That is the reason why we continue to press in the spirit. Like spiritual archaeologists. Exploring the height, the width, the depth of the ways of God. And like archaeologists, when we find something that we think is worthy of note, we treasure it. The Bible says the kingdom is like a man who lost a pearl. Is that true? And the first thing that he did was he lit a candle and went to the room and started sweeping that room. To find it. The Bible also talks about the kingdom as one who went and found a worthy jewel and sold all that he had to buy the entire plot, that entire estate. So we continue to search and the Bible says everyone that seeketh finds. If you are serious enough and desperate the spirit of revelation will come. You will never find the secrets of the kingdom being casual. Lord, if you, if you will show me, show me. Are you not God? Open my eyes, let me see. No. You will not reward anyone who approaches you with that kind of laxity. You can discern diligence. He is the rewarder of not them that seek him. Them that diligently seek him. Lord, I won't let you go. Open my eyes. Show me the key. I, I, I admit that I don't know much, but Lord, open my eyes. 
and then the spirit of revelation comes the angel came and told daniel he said i am come to give you understanding daniel prayed and said i'm not leaving this place lord you must give me understanding about the times and the strategy and what to do 20 and one days he was there traveling and then the angel came granted him access to revelation and he said i daniel understood by books it was not just a book like opening to read are you getting what i'm teaching you now yes so the you must not only know what god has prepared for you you must continue to explore the systems allocated for making it your reality ephesians 4 verse 18 is an anthem in this place the bible says having their understanding darkened it says being alienated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in them alienated that means that your life does not become a reflection of what god has said and the bible says it doesn't mean he lied but that something about your life and my life there is a level of understanding understanding of what not just an information the ways of god are we together now please give me this this is a bottle of water look up please everyone this is a bottle of water now it is true that swan water gives me a guarantee that if i open this bottle i'm going to have an enjoyable experience is that true now you have given me the bottle but there is a technology to open it if you turn this thing clockwise it will not open is that true the system of opening it is to turn it anti-clockwise and keep turning it until the lid removes as simple as this instruction is you can die of test not because you are not powerful enough to lift the bottle you can struggle turning this clockwise and then it will look like swan water scammed you whereas there is a deficiency in your understanding now notice that you can do this and grow old doing it and a little child will come and say my daddy taught me come let me show you and just turn this and in two minutes the water is there for you to take it's a little key that opens a very big door how many of you have lost your key and you had to stand outside you can see the yam from the window but you can't eat it why because a key between you and whatever it is that you prepared someone was careless enough to make sure that key was missing a small key that you can put in your pocket yet yeah, that key kept you outside as educated as you are you are still outside as rich as you are have you ever lost your atm and you stand angry as rich as you are they just made a transfer and you are hungry the atm is looking at you you are looking at it the difference between you and your breakthrough is that atm imagine how small things cause big trouble small key atm that's the same way one spiritual principle you should know that may be the missing link you've done step a b c d step e which is the last step you may not know and stay there for 10 years until god by his mercy comes for some of you that last step is what you are getting tonight you have prayed you have fasted you have done what you need to do hannah went at shiloh the bible says hannah prayed and prayed and prayed and they looked at her and thought that the woman was drunk and all of that and and the prophet looked at her and said i mean what kind of irresponsibility is this you are drunk in the temple and she said no my lord she was communicating her travail all had been set except prophecy we don't just build with intelligence in this kingdom we build as prophecies upon us they build it through and they prosper through the prophesying of Haggai. are we together now and the prophet spoke to her and she had a child supernaturally it looks very simple i have prayed for people and sometimes spoken over their lives quite honestly jokingly and I've been amazed at the way God honored it and their lives changed. Could this be the missing link? That you have done what you know. The shop is already there. The goods are already there. 
but for some strange reasons the customers do not come your certificate is already there the application has been submitted but you are building with intelligence you are building but the prophecy that will make that building finish the bible did not say they started building it says the building finished this is a secret that worked in my own life this is the secret that is working in this ministry they build and they finished through the power of prophecy I continue to explore the wonders of prophecy especially the creative dimension of prophecy that you can speak over someone's life you can imagine this dear lady and a prophetic word is spoken let me tell you this you know I told you something anything that is a blessing is not tangible it's not physical whoever gives you anything that you can hold and calls it a blessing yes we say that you were blessed but the truth is you were supported blessings are always spiritual read your bible you don't bless men with what money can buy you don't bless people with material things so i can give you money you say i bless you it's true but the truth is that what the blessing is not the money you are holding the blessing is the favor that brought that money that's what you are giving so if you have the discernment when you go to the shop you drop the money not the favor your lack of knowledge can make you take that money with the favor on it and drop in that shop and leave and the owner of the shop just collects your money and adds it in the midst of that and he's surprised in two months he has opened another branch he doesn't know what happened whether you know a law is there or not once you engage it it works for your favor or not for your favor i jump from here by mistake i will fall gravity will not say no i'm aware he's joking it's an example no there are no examples with laws You don't swallow food and then the food says, I won't reach your stomach. I know you are, I will, I will come out when you, no. Laws don't care whether you are joking or you are serious. They work. Bishop Oyedeko would always say that God told him while he was, I think in the US, he said, get down and make my people rich yet he doesn't necessarily organize business seminars or symposiums you would think that okay he should be teaching people the dynamics of finances and all of that and then this man will say okay come with everything you are building my job is to keep speaking while you build and you find out the buildings always get completed when you build while a voice is speaking it must finish the same way a voice was speaking while God was building. God himself used that principle in Genesis chapter 1. And God said, and God said, before he would do anything, he would say, let us do it. And then he would do it. When there is your formula for building, alongside the prophetic, that building must finish, no matter what it is. Are we together now? Yes. Many of us build, we get the raw materials, and then we say, based on this and that and that, I will build this great destiny. In the name of Jesus, we, we can be well-meaning. And then we start the building and find out that at a point we are pegged to our surprise. And you can't trace, based on your architecture, nothing is wrong. That building is supposed to finish, yet it does not finish because there are laws in this kingdom we build and prosper through the prophesyings not just through intentions it was bishop oyedeko who would share his experience with archbishop benson idahosa that he carried a seed you know he came and he was going to run an errand for him and he ran the errand very fast and came and waited for him and he looked at him and wanted to reward him i hope i'm right with the story and then he opened you know a compartment full of money and then bishop oedeko would not take and say no i don't want this and he looked at him and blessed him and he says from today god has given you the grace of on time 
that before a need arises, the supplies are there. Now, that's how to bless. So he can now go and build because there is prophecy. Listen, unbelievers know this. They prepare their work together. Then they now go to dark powers and say, I'm ready to build. I'm ready for election. I'm ready for this. I'm ready for the scholarship. I'm ready to build the business. I have done everything. I just returned from Harvard with my certificate. But I know that a body without a spirit is dead. Therefore, let there be prophecy on it. They carry that thing and they finish what they have started. God is a finisher. That means that when the hand of Zerubbabel begins something, that hand should complete it. But the systems that make men complete the things that they want to do, that system is largely not understood. And tonight we are going to use one of those keys. The power, not of words. There is a difference between words and prophecy. Words are utterances. They are powerful on their own. But prophetic words are utterances that are directed and backed up by an, an anointing and God's integrity. You don't prophesy, you don't speak as you are commanded. You speak, you are a human being. How are you? But you don't prophesy just the way you want. You are commanded. I prophesied as I was commanded. I prophesied as I was commanded. We had a very strange miracle that happened in Kano. Those of you who followed, it was a very strange miracle. I don't know whether they were Christians or not. Brought in somebody who was mad. Those of you who were there or followed. And that gentleman was, didn't even know he was in a church. And the one that touched me most was someone three days had been in labor. That baby would not come out. And while I was speaking, the gentleman got angry and called the phone and said they should give it to her and put it on the loudspeaker. As I was speaking, there and then, the woman gave birth, right there in the hospital. Someone that they were saying after, maybe if they would induce or do something, or maybe a CS or so, and the baby just came out, like that. When the systems of the kingdom are put in place, you will wonder at the power of God. The potentials of God are short-circuited when his systems are not understood. So we, he continues to be misrepresented in our lives, which is not a product of his inability, but the product of our not understanding his ways. Are we blessed now? There may be a man of God here. You have done all, but that one thing you need is the power of prophecy. Jesus went to the temple from age 12. He had been preparing and doing everything. But at age 30, he went to look for a prophet. And John said, I won't baptize you. Jesus said, you are joking. Suffer it to be so. It's an ordinance. It's a formula. And when he came out of the water, the heavens opened. Jesus, the word, was under a closed heaven for 30 years until prophecy opened his heavens. So the fact that you are carrying the word, it can be under a closed heaven. Prophecy opens it up. The word for breakthrough, the word for speed can be under a closed heaven. Pray in one minute and say, Lord, my heavens must open tonight. of the Jews build it and they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai. They went forward through the prophesying. They got jobs through the prophesying. They carried their miracle children through the prophesying. They received mantles and graces through the prophesying. Their lives turn around through the prophesying. Shalakata prakato serekaria. Make sure you are praying. Words are like tree. 
gifts in the realm of the spirit. Come, hold this for me. No, Ejimi, don't worry. Let him do it. Hold the tray, not the water. Put it down and hold the tray. This is how words are in the realm of the spirit. It is not the words that bless you. The words carry things. Words are trays in the spirit. It is not the words that bless you. The words contain mysteries. So the word can carry a cause. The word comes to you and returns back, but the cause remains. The word was a messenger. The word can carry a blessing. You can receive the word. It returns back because words are living, so they move. When they come, they go back. Words don't remain. It is what they carry that remains. So shall my word be that goeth forth. I send it as a messenger. When it delivers, it returns back and says, I have done what you sent me to do. Then he sends the word on Aaron again. Listen, words are not just talkings. Because when Isaac, listen, blessed Jacob, Esau came and said, don't you have any other thing? He said, it is finished. Was the talking finished? So words are not just speaking. You are a boy. Yes, you said that is word in English, but in the realm of the spirit, words are the factors in speakings that contain spirit and life. So I can sit down here and put favor on a word and send it as a messenger. The courier system is called prophecy. So you can the moment you see words coming to you, you start rejoicing because you know that the words is like it's like you know, I I I do a lot of conga and jumia, and sometimes they just call me and say, We are within vicinity, can we come? And the moment I hear the sound of their van, do I need the van? Do I need the package? The package that comes will say conga. I quickly open the package, then there is another package. I open everything till I get what I'm looking for. That thing, the van will return back because it needs to come back again. But what it brought is what stays with me. Many of us waste words because we think it is in the speaking. Be blessed. That thing is not the English. It's just a word prophesied to you. It transported something spiritual. So when it enters your ears, the thing that was attached with it drops in your spirit. And then the be blessed English now just goes out. So you know that words were spoken. And then you can't even remember everything that was said in the service. But then you go back and find out your life starts changing. Someone who has no business blessing you. And you say, Lord, when did that happen? That is why deafness is a terrible thing. Are we together now? That you cannot hear. The word cannot call the entrance of thy word. So, listen to me. Understand how this works. Come, stand here. This gentleman, just stand there. This is favor. This is what this guy wants. This is favor. This is what he desperately needs. And God carries that favor and puts it upon words. And the messenger is not a prophet. The messenger is the prophecy. The prophecy is what brings it to him. As many as received him, meaning you can reject him. The word can come, but you will say, it's not trade that I want. I need this. And then the word returns back with the gift and say, I was rejected when I got to that address. Then when you pray again, God will say, by my mercy, let's try again. And the word comes. And you don't receive it and it goes back he sent forth his word when they received the word the word he led them the word delivered them so he sent forth healing he sent forth deliverance but they were carried in a tray called words this is the mystery men receive 
that's why when you see people talk about the word word most people even those who teach it they don't even really fully understand what they are saying they think it is speakings that gives you intelligence no words convey information they convey thoughts but that's not the only thing they do there are mighty systems of impartation words i can be sitting here right now and yet i'm ministering to someone outside because the minister is really not me the minister is the word are you getting what i'm saying now that means no matter where you are the moment the words begin to come and the way god designed it is that it is your faith that determines what is put on that word so i can sit down and say lord send me a word for my breakthrough and God will say, that's it. Everyone that asks it, receive it. And he puts that word. And you will hear me speak casually in the name of Jesus. Let doors be open. And you say, that's it. You did not see that that word was carrying something. You receive that word. The miracle in it will start working. You don't receive the healing. You receive the word. The healing was designed to work when the word is received. When you enter a city Jesus was teaching find out whether they be a house of peace when you find it there he says let what is on you rest there when you don't find anybody that receives you let your peace rest with you meaning there are things that rest return are received are rejected these are some of the things that govern the results that we get look at the wonderful that adorable lady that shared her testimony from Lagos words transcend time and distance and she can receive that word for her brother or friend and HIV of 24 years when the word gets to HIV HIV is a spirit so it knows it's not words that is seen remember when men saw the word they saw a man when demons saw the word they saw the life-giving power of God they looked at Jesus and ah you see not this guy this this 33 year old body is fooling people this is not 33 year old this is the ancient of days hidden in a 33 year old body but men were looking at the son of mary but principalities and powers knew what they were seeing when a prophet saw jesus he said behold the lamb you would think it's an insult you are calling me an animal he was speaking prophetically the same way you can look at gideon and say oh mighty man of valor and Gideon says, where are you seeing this? Because the word is also a mirror. The same way native doctors use water and look at your destiny, you can use the word and look. There's a beautiful picture most of you have seen of a young cat that looks at itself through a mirror and sees a lion. Very powerful. So you can come here weak and then... God comes to you and says, no, you are not supposed to be that. And he says, this is your image. And he says, Lord, I agree. I see it. The word is received. The power, as many as received that word, he gave them power that came with the word to become. Power to become. As many as received him, even to them that called upon his name, he gave them power to become. Power to become an apostle. Power to become a prophet power to become prosperous power to rise and shake whatever it is that brought you down power to silence the voices of darkness thank you this is how fathers blessed throughout the bible all the sons knew that they didn't they didn't wish for any inheritance of goat or sheep they gave them those things but they knew it was temporal but the moment they received something on their head, the fathers told them bye-bye and never cared to find out, are you doing well? Because they knew that what they sent them with was designed to make sure that all things work together. Let me tell you, if someone counts, come, Sam, come, this lady. If this is a husband and wife and you greet all of them and give them plates, huh? or you give them cup, or a set of tea you gave them gifts not a blessing now there's nothing wrong with that they will carry those things and somebody can steal it but when you speak over their lives those
those words remain and start walking so this guy was supposed to fail remember when he gets to the place where he wants to fail that word is a spiritual buffer he starts doing something to him to make sure he goes away from trouble there was supposed to be trouble ordinarily he would have been a victim but something that was on him will move him the Lord knows how to deliver the righteous there is something that you can receive and where there is a job that is your own you find yourself moving there you are not moving something is moving you there this is what creates favor in life it looks like a repetition of coincidences everything good that is about to happen you call them they say I just heard about it must you hear about everything good then th that grace makes sure that nothing good passes you without you not hearing it the same way someone can put something negative on this lady and she will come someone wants to marry her and what is on her will make sure that guy hates her and everything destroys I say, what is is it that i'm not beautiful it's not about beauty it's about what happened that's why the Bible says God can deliver men from six things. Yes, seven things. One of it is the scourging tongues of men. That men can use words to program something on you and just say go. Now, you will because you didn't feel anything, that word remains. This gentleman is standing here. He's supposed to marry her, but something on her is fighting him. You are supposed to get a job. The person promised heaven and say and just a signature to get that job but something on you make sure that your paper is taken away from the list this is what we came to correct tonight that by the power of prophecy that that something can come upon your life and you will walk out of here and see things that should not happen someone can look at you and say man of god you are not supposed to move at this spiritual rate when did you get born again and you say it's not my fault it's what is on me something on me draws the right people and you find out listen listen that's why you find out there are churches you always find the right keyboardist the right drummer they are looking for pastors you find the right pastors and it's not as if the people are eloquent enough to look for them there is a spirit somebody enters that town and says I want to come and fellowship with Koinonia they didn't just come the day you are announcing your book that's the day the richest helper in your life is forced to come to the city he didn't just come something on you controls everything around you so the key is not to try to change things buy a new shoe with a negative word on your head that negative word will tear that shoe and return you back to the way they prophesied on your life please take serious what i'm saying many arrogant believers will not hear this and will continue to move in circles and circles of shame and regret in this kingdom we build but we prosper and finish what we are building through the power of prophecy hallelujah you have applied for the job you have submitted it there's nothing you can do about it again you don't even have access to the office you can't call the director why don't you send words let words enter that office like an arm robber and search where is her file and sit on it listen remember you can't get to the office but there's something that can get there I'm not motivating you believe me and that word will rest on your employment letter and the, the man is pushing everything and he just picks yours now remember the man may not be born again so he can't explain what is happening because he operates in the three-dimensional realm the word and the miracle of favor in it is speaking to his spirit man and because he's empowered by God's integrity he must hear it and he looks and says who is this what tribe ah I the slot is for five people from the north. Who is this Yoruba girl now? Who knows? Maybe she doesn't have a father or mother and they take this. And you get a job that you sit down and say, ah, ah, what is this again? If you don't believe this, 
then I welcome you to the realm of hardship and suffering where you can almost lose your salvation because of the squallow that comes upon arrogant people. You see people that you think don't deserve it, but they are childlike enough to allow words go before them. Are we together? In the Bible, every time fathers were releasing their children, they would tell them, place your hand upon my thigh. And they would place their hand and speak. Speak over their lives. And say, I've finished. Go. Whoever comes again, they say the word has finished. I can talk to you. I can counsel you. But if it's that thing you are looking for, it has finished. Do you believe what I'm sharing with you? Because we are going to be very, very fast tonight. And I want you to believe. The moment words are coming, don't just hear them as amplified sounds from a public address system. They are spirits. You have to discern it. They are spirits. Oh, may God lift you. It's not just by shouting amen. May God lift you. So the word is coming with a grace for lifting. You receive the word, but you are searching. Where is the grace? And that grace is on you. You go expecting to be lifted. It's as if life owes you lifting. Because there is a word there. And you will be surprised to see the way things just open. Are you ready to pray? Find a corner in the next two, three minutes. I like you to declare. Declare and pray. Please pray. Take it seriously. The things that must shift in your life. The things that must change in your life. It's called a miracle service. Especially for those of you who came from far. Please believe.
that are written upon men like a stigma, like a karagma. The mystery of the tragedy of Jabez was a word that became his name by his mother. And Jabez said, oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Lord, I'm tired of this situation. It's not my fault that I came from this family. Words are erasers. They can erase anything. They can erase anything. Because those words are bought by the blood of the eternal covenant. They can erase curses. They can erase yokes. They can erase witchcraft. They can erase pronouncements. Someone spoke against you. Spoke against your family. And said it will never be good with you. Words are erasers. For some of us, before you need something to come upon you, you need something to be taken out of you. Open your mouth and pray. And say something must be erased from my destiny. Those negative dreams, bad luck. I love the Lord. I serve him with all my heart. Blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us. He nailed it to the cross. social media platforms and a system was programmed that when you forget your password there are times that you want to access your mail or whatever page and for some reason you can forget your password there is a provision there it will ask you have you forgotten your password and then it will try to do one two three things and give you another opportunity to put a new password or remind you of the password you forgot. If in the physical recovery is possible, then how, how much more the realm of the spirit? Someone tonight is going to insist. You, it left you to a point that you are not even thinking of it again. And God is saying, no, Lazarus must come back home. You must find it again. Before I begin to pray, open your mouth. Whatever left me that should not leave me, you must return back. Opportunities, dimensions in the spirit. you to cooperate with me 
I want us to finish very fast. And so tonight I may not really have time to prophesy and speak to people one by one because it would take time. But I want you to please believe. Are we together? Words can bring things. And words can carry things out of your life. Was it not because Jonah entered a boat? Innocent people on a voyage. A man carried something. Entered their boat. They lost properties. Lost. They were about to lose their life. And they said, what is the cause of this? And Jonah said, I'm the one. The solution, he didn't say, counsel me. Throw me out of that boat. There are things that you don't patch, you don't manage. They must be thrown out completely. There are pronouncements, you must carry them and say, I saw you destroy my father, my mother. You are going out of my by the spirit of might. In the name of Jesus, that you will do a quick walk in this place. I pray, oh God, that within the next few minutes, visit your people. Let it not just be a ritual. But Lord, that you will visit them. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will visit them. I'm going to count five just now. Don't do anything. Don't shout. Don't do anything. Once I count five, I'm seeing a fire of deliverance. We're going to start with it because people must be set free. I truly believe in emancipation. And the Lord is giving me an instruction to just count five. And then I begin to speak. One, two. The things of the spirit are very strange. I want you to bring them out. Three. My God, I sense such fire. I'm already even seeing four. Get ready now. Five. Let that fire right now. In the name of Jesus, everything in your life that must leave, I declare right now by the power that is in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ, bring them out. Outside, everywhere, overflow. One, two, three. The roadside, online. I decree and I declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. The word of God brings every evil from out of their hiding place. I declare and I prophesy. I send the word like a messenger of judgment into every family, into every destiny. And I declare that everything that needs to be judged will not escape the fire of God tonight. Therefore, I declare judgment. Judgment upon the hand of the wicked. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Judgment upon the wicked. Judgment upon the wicked. Hallelujah. The spirit I'm taking charge over now are the forces responsible for closed doors listen over life if you have seen that you stand and a door refuses to open no matter what you do something is about to happen to you now lift your hands father i declare anyone here who is under the yoke of a spirit that causes closed doors shakatabata now you are ready to shout at the count of three in the name of Jesus, I judge that spirit. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I command those spirits. I challenge those forces. I send the word. Doors open. Ordinances that close doors. Let doors be open now over lives, over destinies. Be open now outside. Be open inside. Be open in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me people and I'm seeing chains on their feet. And I'm seeing literal fire like rising from the ground of this auditorium. And I'm going to speak now. When I speak, those chains that I see, Sakotos Katabarakatojetia, you will be amazed at the testimonies that will rise from this month's miracle service. Lord Jesus, I declare, anyone being tied down by any chain, I declare right now, let the fire of the 
it could be chains that are territorial it could be chains of wickedness I command a release right now in the name of Jesus I command a release right now I command a release right now a release right now a release right now what I'm seeing now for a long time and then I think last miracle service or so, I saw it again it's, it's a sign and wonder and I don't know why God does it, I'm seeing a map before me now and I'm seeing Kogi State, Kogi State you know what happens when God shows me this, that means people from that state, the power of God begins to touch them, right now in the name of Jesus I declare, the fire of God is going to that state and I declare freedom right now there are ordinances and yokes within that region. When you are from that region, the power of God meets you. I decree and declare now, in the name of Jesus Christ, complete freedom, complete freedom. The power of God is still coming, Kogi State. I decree and I declare, if there is anything that is not the planting of the Lord in any of those regions, I uproot it now by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Bring them out, please. Overflow one, lift your hands. I stretch my hands right now. I'm seeing a very strange fire. People will start running from overflow one. I'm, I've not prayed that prayer, but I'm seeing a grace for speed. This is the spirit of delay being broken. Overflow one, in the name of Jesus, I declare, may that grace come upon people right now. They will begin to run by the spirit. Run by the spirit. Bring them out. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for the sick shortly. But the Lord is asking me to stand here. I'm standing here and I'm seeing right here. Just right here. I'm seeing there is something the angel of the Lord is doing. Right here. I decree and I prophesy. Right now, in the name of Jesus, let the yokes of darkness, the ordinances of witchcraft, let it be broken right now. Let it be broken right now. The chains, 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 chains be broken right now. Chains, I'm seeing chains around here. I decree, Shabbat. for sick people now but I'm seeing the Lord is telling me he's taking away objects from people's bodies physical objects movements around the body that you feel movements around the body right now I declare anyone who has those experiences I stretch my hands now I stretch my hands now the Lord is saying I should stand here in the name of Jesus any movement in the name of Jesus, Sakato Barakata, Endekalekata Katakata, Rakata Bakatos, movements in the body. I cause it now in the name of Jesus. Everything that is not of God in anyone's body around here, I take it out of your body now. I take it out of your body now. Look at me, my dear, this lady. Lift your hands. I stretch my hands now. I saw fire coming on you. Right now, I declare that devil must let you go. I release you now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Now, be set free in the name of Jesus. All those in front, I declare the count of three. The spirit that manifested must let you go. I speak as one sent from God. At the count of three, let them go. One, two, three, go. Go, go, go. Out of their lives and out of their destinies. In the name of Jesus Christ. How many 
people are trusting God for jobs, you are trusting God for a job, just keep your hands lifted. I just saw something that looked like a parcel. We are going to pray for the sick, but I'm stretching my hands. Fire is leaving my hands. I'm seeing from the realm of the spirit, and it's come not everybody, but in the name of Jesus, Lord, those that are designed to receive miracle jobs through these impartations, where are they, oh God? I send your anointing. Kalato sebahasha. come your season of lifting has come lift your hands I'm looking at you where's your wife wife come look at oh what a wonderful wife again her husband in the name of Jesus Christ I speak and I prophesy to you here look at what is happening to them I declare by the anointing of the spirit the month of November two of you will come to testify here the God of heaven is turning your lives around one finances Two, I'm seeing you climbing ladders in the spirit. And I decree and declare over you. It must be so right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. If I start speaking one by one time. Sir, please come. This man. Come, sir. God is about to change your life. Come. Where are you? Please stand up. Please stand up, sir. Where are you coming from? from Sabongari, I want to pray for you. Where do you stay? Sir, I don't mean to scare you. Are we together now? I'm not a prophet of doom. But this you're coming here now has saved you from dying. You have been having dreams. You have been having dreams. Dreams. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Dead people. Yes, you I see dead them. people in dreams. I have seen them. This is what I'm saying. If you did not come here, I saw that you were somewhere around PZ and a car just came. You're on a bike and that car just hit you and just killed you. That's how they left you on the ground there. But in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the spirit behind, why am I saying God is saving families from the spirit of death? I just saw like an arrow right now. Any family here, any family I'm seeing like arrows of death I reverse them you will know because I'm praying for you I declare now now any family that the devil has found that there must be an obituary I command in the name of Jesus Christ freedom death leave the God's people in the name of Jesus God of wonders will do wonders in their lives. Agree with them very quickly. Please don't doubt what you are doing. Those who are standing, trust God to touch you. Trust God to return with a testimony. Who have come with all kinds of situations. Arise, O oh God, in your power. Wrought wonders in the name of Jesus. Let your people return with testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Quickly, please. Please. Um, except the people speak to you and I would, please let there be minimal um, personal speakings because we have to rush. As hands are laid on you, please believe. Don't say it's not apostle that is laying hands on me. It's a corporate grace that is working here. And for those of us who are seated, the worship team will be ministering. But don't just sit and just be looking. I like you to believe because immediately after this, I'll be doing the prophecy and the impartation, and we'll be trusting God to turn things around. If you have your prayer request while the service is going on, whether you are here or just wave it, and then there will be people PR protocol. Please join the people so that we'll make it fast. Lord, we thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. And as we in your presence there is healing the Holy Spirit gentle touch is flowing Jesus I believe Thank you.
Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that every delayed promise, say it again, that every delayed promise must manifest before the end of this month. Lift your voice and pray. Pray, pray, delayed promise. Make sure you are praying. Every delayed 
promise in the name of Jesus we decree and declare hallelujah hold on medically speaking after nine months when they give a woman EDD sometimes it can seem to cross with a few weeks the doctors give plus or minus is that true and by the time it exceeds it becomes an issue of concern and then the doctors have a system where they can induce the woman or at least go through CS it doesn't matter how that blessing must arrive Lord I declare it is time for me to walk in it lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray every prepared blessing that the prophetic word of God has made available I step in Jesus, I receive the grace to discern my miracle. Because you see, sometimes a miracle may not come in a way that you see it. Are we together now? Who would have known that it was the little jar in the house of the woman who was already owing that would save her? Sometimes your miracle is there. But God must open your eyes. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus. Lord, I receive discernment. Cause my eyes to be open. To see my miracle in this season. Lift your voice and pray. Cause my eyes to be open. of Jesus in the name of Jesus the last prayer point I like you to declare say in the name of Jesus father bring speed to my destiny let me tell you something except you are not living on planet earth there are times that God will desire for certain things to happen in your life but for whatever reason 
those seasons can pass and you will not step into it. Now, God must give you speed to be able to catch up with what matches the pace of your life. Pray this prayer and you will watch God answer. Say in the name of Jesus. Lord, for my years of delay, I receive supernatural speed in every area of my life. Open your mouth and mention every area of your life. Lord, I would have gotten admission 10 years ago, but for some reason I was delayed. Give me speed. Give me speed. online I want you to believe pray believe in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ this is not a ritual this is not a formality there is an anointing there is a grace there is a covenant that makes for this request to be answered prayers Paul said for this cause I Paul bow my knees I bow my knees I bow my knees to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ that he may grant unto you I bow my knees that he may grant unto you I bow my knees that he may grant unto you I bow my knees that he may grant unto you I bow my knees that he may grant unto you visit impossible situations O God of heaven in the name of Jesus Christ Father I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit you have brought strange miracles to men and women by reason of this mystery. Father, I declare there are people here who have written things that only you can solve. Things
things that if we see with the eyes of men, it will even challenge our faith. My God, surprise everyone. Please agree with me. Surprise everyone. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let every need represented here, whatever that need is, I agree right now in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Let every need here be turned into a miracle. Any human agent that has vowed that this request will not be answered, may the fire of judgment come upon them now. Remember, all blessings come from God through men to you. All blessings live from Satan through men away from you. All blessings come from God through men to you. All blessings live from Satan through men. So whether it's from God or from Satan, men play a role. I say it again in the name of Jesus. Everybody who the devil wants to use to play a negative role, to sabotage what God has answered, what he has done in your life, let the fire of judgment rest upon them now. Let me give you an instance. If God destines that you are the one who will lift your family out and be great, and Satan programs a man with a gun to kill you, you know what that man has done? He didn't just kill you. He stopped the word of God from coming to pass in your family. I'm saying it again. Any human agent, if you don't like it, just say amen to the one you believe. But any human agent that stands the way of prophecy over your life, may the word of God rest like fire upon them. When a man is supposed to give you a job and get angry because something happened and packs all the employment letter and shelves it and they forget about it for the next two years. The guy to help Joseph came out and forgot him for two years. It was after two years by the mercy of God he said, I remember my wrong. So he acknowledged it was wrong. I pray whoever has forgotten you that must remember you, may they remember their wrong. And may they correct it. Every anointing and every grace that God preordained that should be resting upon your life, your ministry right now, and by some activity of darkness, it has not yet touched your head. I declare, may that unction rest on you now. May that unction rest on you now. May that unction rest on you now. Remember what I taught you about words. Never forget, words are trades. God is serving you something. He's only using words. Are you ready to receive the prayer of favor again? Don't say you have said it before. Remember that they build and they prosper through the prophesying. Not once. Jesus, your Jesus, touched the eyes of a man. And he said, what do you see? This is the word touching a man's eyes. He said, I'm seeing, but I see men like trees. Jesus said, nonsense. He touched his eyes again. And he saw men clearly. If he, if he was left like that, listen, we want, to, we want to destroy the spirit that aborts complete miracles. So the miracle starts in your life but never finishes. Have you seen people like that? It starts in your life but never finishes in the name of Jesus. Because according to scripture, if the hand of Zerubbabel starts a thing, that hand should complete it. I'm praying right now. Every miracle that has started, 
when Elijah saw the rain like the fist of a man's hand, it didn't stop as a fist. It became an abundance of rain. Therefore, I declare, what you have seen like the fist of a man's hand, it must come to completion in your life. It must come to completion in your life. So you get a job, but they say you need an interview. You pass stage one. You pass stage two. They even give you small pocket money and you are happy. It's almost as if you are employed. Then when the final list comes out, your name is not there. A lady sent me a text crying that a gentleman came and paid her dowry and ran away. What did he do? He paid her dowry and ran away. It's better that that lady were never married than the one that you gathered people, they paid your dowry, then he ran away. Let me say it again. The Bible says, he that has begun this good work, except it's not a good work, what my God has started in your life, in the name of Jesus, it must come to end. Let me pray for your family that in the name of Jesus, whatever has brought pain to your family, whatever has brought shame, whatever has brought distress, right now I prophesy by the power of the Holy Spirit. We come from different families and we know the various challenges that we left from our different families. Therefore, I prophesy to you right now in the name of Jesus that every challenge you left from your family, let that challenge be turned into a testimony now. Let it be turned to a testimony now. Let it be turned to a testimony now. Now, let me prophesy a very serious prophecy for you. Everything you saw from January that God vowed with his integrity in the place of your retreat, he showed you things. You know it's not guesswork. You know that God told you certain things but you have not seen it come to pass. I release my faith with you and I command October to deliver the result for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Everyone who is in ministry here, I want to pray for you. Whether it's an evangelical ministry, you are a missionary, you are into a prophetic ministry, whatever is making it to not work or whether it's a prayer group a fellowship i stretch my hands i strengthen your hands in the spirit fresh fire upon the work that you do in the name of jesus christ if there is anyone in anger who made any pronouncement over your life it could even be your biological parents I stand here by the privilege of the prophetic and the apostolic and I declare that that statement is erased from your life. Those in business, I pray for you. I decree and declare the spirit that brings fruitless labor you labor so much and yet nothing comes to fruition. I curse that spirit from its root now. Let me pray again in the name of Jesus that everyone trusting God for a miracle job, I don't care how long you have waited, in the name of Jesus, the name that is above every other name, I speak to you, may the Lord surprise you. The Lord is showing me a medical doctor that an appointment is coming for from Abuja, one of the hospitals in Abuja. As I just prayed this prayer, I saw it in the spirit. We establish it now in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing someone, nobody has ever truly applied for a visa and gotten it in your family. It doesn't matter how many times they apply. 
and the reasons are legitimate i speak by the anointing of the holy spirit may the favor of god open the doors of nations for you hallelujah one way the spirit of poverty listen eats up resources from people is through the mystery of terminal illness illness that your money must finish before the person now dies are we together now it's a wicked spirit because you can't sit down and watch your loved one in pain you will liquidate everything you have to help them when the entire family is drained then the person just goes i declare if there is anyone with any terminal illness that is sapping resources from your family may the healing power of jesus touch them and quicken them now favor is a spirit i stretch my hands and i declare in the name of jesus from today carry strange favor Carry strange favor. Carry strange favor. Over all your darkness, you are causing light to shine from darkness. You are brooding. You are brooding over every dark. You are, you are causing light, light to shine from darkness. There are people who were looking for money when we were seeking his presence. Till today they have not found it. Till today they would never focus on him because of money. There are people who could not settle down. They were so obsessed about ministry and briefcases and PA and men and women following their ministry regalia and would not settle down to seek his presence. Till today, till tomorrow, they are still struggling. Some of them are not even in the faith again. Please hear me, Koinonia. Let's settle down with the Holy Spirit. Let not just because you are a leader, not just because you are a worker, settle down with the Holy Spirit and say, Holy Spirit, I'm not in a rush with you. Do with me whatever Jesus would have done with me and you watch what you will become. The Holy Spirit will turn your life around, turn your wilderness. You will look at yourself one day and say, is this me? Lord, what is this that you have done? When Gentiles begin to come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your rising do you know because of the way the lord began to lift me and because of the way the lord began to lift this ministry i prayed a prayer i said lord i want to ask for a favor from you please do not show me the full impact that i'm making in the lives of people don't show me how far i have risen in the eyes of people just show me a token so that pride and self-centeredness will not destroy me let me just know i'm changing lives but don't show me how far my reach has gone and god answered that prayer it's still my prayer till tomorrow because i don't want anything to distract me let me not hear that there are 12 millionaires in america who listen to my messages every day and then you now say wow 12 millionaires in america that means i'm becoming a big man uh -uh. so god helps you by concealing the extent of your impact you are changing lives all over but you never know how far because he wants you to continue is god speaking to us why have we lived our lives without him let me just talk on three things thank you thank you doctor very quickly before we pray three ways the holy spirit works with believers three ways number one the first ministry of the Holy Spirit in working with a believer is supplying divine direction. Divine direction, guidance. Guidance and direction. Guidance and direction. Let me show you something that I found while I was studying. Exodus chapter 23 and verse 22. Powerful scripture. Exodus chapter 23. Exodus 23 23 he said but my angel shall go before thee 
and bring ye into all of these people and i will cut them off my angel will go before thee and bring thee this was this you see the the people of old did not have a system of working with the holy spirit corporately and so based on their understanding the lord taught them every time he would say he was sending his angel to represent his presence are we together he says my angel shall go before thee not that you go and then he follows you before thee and he shall bring you to different regions the Hamorites, the hittites the perizzites the canaanites the hivites and the jebusites and i will cut them off i'm giving you victory but that victory will be through divine direction we will go step by step guidance by guidance place by place notice how god led people in scripture he took them from one place they would conquer this land then they would go to this land many lives many lives and many destinies today have been scattered into pieces because people guess their way the bible said there is a way that seemed right unto a man a preacher a businessman a father a mother he says but the end thereof are the ways of death my angel will go before you and guide you moses said do not let we will not leave this place if your presence will not go with us he says my presence will go with you and i will give you rest notice every time his angel his presence his angel his presence and when he leads them they return with great and strange testimonies many of us are yet to explore the leadership of the holy spirit let me teach you one big secret with the leadership of the holy spirit never take a step until you are sure he's the one leading you this our world of hurry for everything i just I, I just feel that my job is in uk you go to uk and live like a thief there whereas god has destined for you that is in a quiet bomb where you are he will lift you but because he could not direct you there are many people who want to do ministry and they think it's by running to america by running to wherever or running to abuja running to different places divine direction when god directs you it was never my intention to still be in zaria at this time no as wonderful as it is if it were on my own i would prefer to be somewhere maybe in one of the cities around the world but divine direction divine direction when you read genesis chapter 26 the bible says and isaac sowed in that land i'm sure that isaac wanted to go somewhere to run for the famine and god said no 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 for others they can go but for you the secret to your prosperity is hidden in that divine direction we do not respect his leadership he says the lord is my shepherd so i shall not want i shall not want the lord is my shepherd so i shall not want there are many of our families that are in pain today because we ignore the leadership of the holy spirit very powerful isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21 isaiah chapter 30 let's hurry up quickly isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21 popular scripture about the leadership of the spirit in the life of a believer isaiah 30 okay it says and thy ears shall hear a word behind thee saying read with me everyone this is the way walk ye in it when ye turn to the right and when you turn to the left that god will guide you on your way going he said this part looks good but this is not for you he said lord but other believers are following it he said that's it's all right but for you this is the part wait on me sometimes he can say mark time and remain in one place lord but others are going he says don't worry you are still moving you don't move because your legs are moving you move because my word is moving you so even when you think you are standing in one place it says you are moving because when you turn you see that you have gotten there you shall hear a voice from behind you hear me people of god you shall hear a voice from behind you saying this is the way oh you have a job but let him lead you let him guide you when god leads you he defends you where he has led you the, there are many preachers today in regions that god did not send them and they are struggling as if they are not anointed there is a place prepared for you 
only God guides you there. When he sends you to your prepared place, everything follows you. Favor follows you. His mercy follows you. Ease follows you. Difficulty can be a proof, among other factors, that there is something you are ignoring about the leadership of the Holy Spirit. In this kingdom, we excel through divine direction, not just efforts. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. Why? Because your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Stop living your life without the guidance of the Holy Spirit. You can't live your life and be guided by movies, guided by all kinds of godless books, guided by individual opinions, guided by cultural opinions. It's time to return back and say, Holy Spirit, guide me. If you are not in this, let me get out. Three days before Koinonia will start, this, this, this aspect of the ministry's activities, three days I went back for a retreat to reconfirm from God, Lord, are you still the one or is my ambition? If God ever said I'm not the one, that's it. It's just to apologize. I'm sorry I thought I had God, but he's not the one. Never be ashamed to retreat from whatever you are doing when you realize God is not in it. Sometimes is this our pride that keeps us in trouble. When you find out that, oh, I used to think God was in this, but now I'm realizing from growth that God was not, we still come down and say, how will people really know? Don't put yourself in trouble. Everybody say divine direction. Let me just give you one quick secret on how, you see, you must understand the voice of God. This is generally speaking. You must understand how God speaks. I just need to give you one, one direction. Just one scripture that I found that really blessed me. John chapter 10 verse 35. The voice of God must always agree with his written word and must always agree with his character of operation. Remember the Bible says the kingdom of God is in three things. Righteousness, peace, and joy. The moment these three forces coexist, the kingdom of God is within that environment. And here's what the Bible says. It says, if he called them gods unto whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken your experience will not break scripture it says the word of god came to them and the scripture cannot be broken just because a word came to them the word that came to you and the word that is written must agree the word of god came to them by revelation but the scripture can still not be broken because the word of god came so the speakings of God will always be consistent with his written word and will be consistent with his character because there are times that what God is speaking about, you may not find a direct scripture for it, but the character of how, how God operates must be consistent. Are we together? most people hear every kind of nonsense from the pit of hell and they say yes lord from the beginning of the voice to the end of it it contradicts everything god please don't let anybody threaten you with any prophetic word and anything that is not consistent with the written word of god are we together yes if you look at me now and prophesy to me and say apostle I saw you having an accident tomorrow. I keep quiet and hear you. If you stop there, you didn't hear God. Because the Spirit of God will never stop there. If it, is, it may be true that you saw an attack, but then continue it to prove that it is God. I saw an accident, but I am speaking by the power of God's word to stop it. But I saw an accident and that's it. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. I saw that your wife is a witch. Congratulations. Uh -huh. Continue. Let me hear. That's it. That's all. Just leave her. No, sir. That's not God. God does not speak like that. 
if you claim to be a man of God and your wife is a witch, you are foolish, you are not anointed. It means you are not even a man of God. Because your ministry should be demonstrated day and then. The validity of your anointing should be proven there. Let's be careful. We have ignored scripture. And so all kinds of words. You see people just fighting one another in the name of dull visions that are not consistent with the word of God. The devil uses the faces of people. When God wants to lift you, he will now try to use a face of a man of God or somebody you respect. And come to you and press you. And you get up in ignorance. And say, ah, you do not know that Satan can masquerade as an angel of light. The Bible already gave you that information. I must balance this issue of the voice of God because Satan has mastered the art of deceiving a generation that is not sound in scripture. We are so passionate about the prophetic, which is important, but we must balance it. Especially for we who are men of God. There is always that drive to give people word and we communicate words that are not consistent. There are things I've seen about people I know that it's an attack from Satan. But I also know by the power of the word that revealing that thing to them will not edify them. It will destroy their faith. So I withhold that prophecy and rather intercede for them. Because there is a spiritual level they must mature in for that prophetic word to benefit them. God sends the word. Your maturity guided how it was delivered. Say the voice of God. Please, let's be careful. I'm not teaching you to hate the prophetic. I'm not teaching you to be cynical. I'm not teaching you to see a man of God making mistakes in delivering the prophetic and then getting angry at them. But please, let's be careful. Because some of us have already been swayed by the deception of Satan. We get up and we hate everybody. We hate every man of God, every woman of God because of all kinds of false visions fabricated from the pit of hell. He said, even if an angel brings another gospel, that means Satan can masquerade as an angel of light. It's one of the greatest reasons why men of God should pray before coming on the stage. I'm not praying when I come on stage for miracles to happen. With all humility, I will lay hands on a goat and it will come and stand here and the goat is bleaking and you see people falling under the anointing. You will think he's charm. That's anointing. But the accuracy of delivery is why we pray that oh god superimpose my weaknesses and my humanity so that your word will pass through all my limitations and still become spirit and life to your people that's why we pray we don't just pray for miracles and signs and wonders to happen the anointing is there to make it happen are we learning something the voice of god must never come um must never relegates the written word of God in your life the second way that the Holy Spirit functions in the life of a believer is by giving to us divine strategies everybody say divine strategies say it again divine strategies we win in this kingdom through mysteries but the mysteries are a revelation of a strategy Go and read it when you go home. Joshua chapter 6 and verse 1 to, I think, 21 or thereabout. Verse 1 to 21. 21 verses. Talks about how Jericho was destroyed. It was not just destroyed because God was powerful. It was destroyed through a divine strategy. Nowhere in the Bible was that strategy used again. Are we together? When you stand before the challenges as a ministry... I remember when this ministry was starting, I went to God and I cried to him. I said, Lord, what? There is a general financial strategy. But what is the financial strategy for this ministry that will keep us pressure free and not allow us manipulate anybody? And here it came. It was revealed. Another ministry may try it and it may never work for them. There are ministries if you sell free materials. I mean, if you give free materials like your sermon and the rest, there may not be any other avenue for revenue. There are people who do that just because they want to copy and their finances go down and they suffer for nothing. You must receive a divine strategy. Lord, in this marriage, what is the strategy for training our children? In this marriage, what is the strategy for living in peace? You can get the general communication 
but you must stay with God to receive a unique strategy. Lord, in this ministry, what is the strategy for ensuring efficiency? Say divine strategies. That's the Holy Spirit for you. So he leads you, divine guidance and direction. Number two, he gives you ideas, strategies. When you stand before any mountain, let me give you an advice. Like the mountains that stand before you tonight. Don't be afraid, there is a strategy. God has given us the strategy for tonight. Is that true? God decided to anoint this oil and say with this oil coming on everybody, I will work wonders and strange results. It's a strategy. It's a strategy. So he gave us a strategy to fast and wait upon him for seven days and then round up with this mystery. This oil was in my room all through the night. Soaking in the presence and the glory of God. It's a strategy. Are we together? Let me tell you one of the ways I prayed on this. It was in a, in a big, it wasn't like this. I literally opened it and I was confessing God's word and speaking and laying hands. You will think the oil cannot hear. I've, I've taught you that this is a living thing. This is ordinary oil. But when the anointing comes, the same word I'm speaking to you is the same word. Receiving it is just like someone speaking to you directly. It's more than just oil touching your head. You will see what it will do in your life. Hallelujah. Mm. Jesus spoke to water and asked the people to fetch it and go. And they were going and the water had what Jesus said. And he started changing to wine. Jesus. Jesus spoke to two fish and five loaves. They had him and he commanded them to multiply. And told the people go and start serving. When they started everything was multiplying. There were 12 baskets. The third way the Holy Spirit ministers to the saints is by granting access to power access to the anointing just talk about this briefly and then we'll pray so we've spoken briefly about divine guidance and direction please those outside i know i know you're writing make sure you participate no matter how far just find a corner if you cannot write at least listen divine direction the lord is my shepherd the angel of the lord going before you number two strategies revealing to you mountains fall not because of the effort that is put but the strategy that is applied every military person will tell you that the difference between um being victorious or being victims in a war is the strategy that is employed and then number three access to power supernatural power acts chapter 1 verse 8 but ye, Koinonia, but ye, Joshua Selman, shall receive power. Kabbalah Kotia. Power is the word dunamis. You shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And it shall make you witnesses unto me. Both in Jerusalem, in Judea, Samaria, and to the utmost part of the earth. Peter was speaking in the house of Cornelius in chapter 10. And in verse 38 of Acts chapter 10, verse 38, he says how God, listen now, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. The word born on earth from Nazareth, but still had to be anointed to be efficient. Just quoting scripture does not bring you result. The word must be anointed to profit you. How God anointed the word with the Holy Ghost and with power. And he went about the word. See, listen, the written word becomes the sent word when it is anointed. It is the anointing that turns the written word to a sent word. You want to write that down? That the written word becomes the sent word when the anointing comes upon it. How God anointed Jesus. I understand how God anointed Paul. I understand how God anointed Peter. But God anointed Jesus, the word. Until then, he was the son of the carpenter. But the anointing turned him to the Christ, a sent one. And the Bible says he went about doing good. For us to understand this, we must go to Genesis chapter 1 and see the things God say are good. He calls creation good. He calls plants coming out of a barren ground good. 
so there are things that are do you know the bible says you went about doing good comma and then healing all day that were oppressed so it's good to heal is god is good to produce miracles signs and wonders but there are other needs in men's lives their finances the assault of wickedness in their lives the struggles that the devil tries to put them under the yokes of bondage the bible calls it good you do that with the anointing listen you never bless men just because you are kind it takes the anointing to do good lord just bless me so that i can help people pay their rent you see my heart your desire is not enough brothers and sisters there is an anointing that empowers you are we together now then you can prosper and do good doing good is warfare because satan will fight it lord i want to get first class so that my getting first class will give me an opportunity and then i will rise and glorify you that glorify you is what satan had every other thing is jargons he had glorify you and he says fight him in his final exams cripple him with sickness let something bring him down it takes power to subdue the wicked forces that trap down the lives of men when members come one week two weeks one month two months they give you two months of their lives and there is nothing to change they will not come again let me tell you don't even waste your time to think they will be sympathetic you look at them and say ah i didn't see you in church again say pastor i'm busy say lie there's nobody that is busy people are looking for solutions if there is no solution they will give excuse then one day they'll say please don't talk to me again i'm an adult i can choose to come to your your church or not that means they are telling you i'm tired I made up my mind that I will never be a powerless man of God. When you are a powerless man of God, you are not only bad, you are wicked. Because you will be like that fig tree that attracted men. Jesus himself fell into the temptation of that fig tree. He ran and came there and stood. Where is the fruit? And the tree said, sorry. He says, come. And Jesus cursed it in anger. And said, no fruit will come out of you again. Tonight we need power, brothers and sisters. We live in a wicked world. There are some of you here in your whole family. You are the first that will rise. It takes power to rise. There are families that when you rise, an alert is sent to the realm of the spirit. And there are controlling powers that for decades have sat upon the destinies of men. They dare not hear that you want to rise. He's going abroad. And you see an uncle just come in and say, I heard that you are going to London. Say, by the grace of God, uncle. Say, congratulations. You shake his hand and they just call you somewhere. You wake up the next day, one leg cannot walk. The other day, your ears cannot hear well. Are we together? By the Friday, your passport is missing. Powers. He said, through the greatness of thy power. Every village, including my own, has witches and wizards they know i'm on earth it's not that they love to leave me to do ministry power power kabbalah kotaya he said behold i give you power exousia power step into my shoes step into my office listen i'm trusting god that after tonight you will no longer be at the mercy of principalities and powers there are some of you who cannot go to the village the last time you went what happened to you even you you were scared but now you go to the village and overnight in three hours you hear that things have you were not praying oh you carried something mysterious to that village two weeks after your arrival you see five buildings springing up a development that the devil has refused anybody that organizes crusade in your village never finishes after two days he's sleeping and he dies come on now the devil deceives you listen i have studied satan carefully because i didn't like the way i was afraid of him my fear of satan was getting too bad and i said no i can't be afraid of satan like this i need to settle down and study him one of the ways you conquer fear is to study what gives you the fear and look at it and say what is in this thing really what is in it what is in satan that threatens people have found out the strength of satan is ignorance satan works with information he plants that seed to you 
so a spirit you are sleeping in your house and you hear something on your zinc that's satan now he knows and watch what he begins to do he used that experience to plant pictures in your mind what could be there hi an arm robber is there no not an arm robber the other day that's how my grandfather said anytime you hear that sound barrenness is inevitable any and listen he's working with your mind you are you are having faith in that thing the moment your faith is there because whoever believes there shall be a performance it doesn't matter what you believe you hear that thing in your zinc and get up he that cometh from above is above all jacos kata let me tell you the truth the devil will go back there are demons when they send them to people they disobey say no 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 they disobey the implication the risk involved in that espionage is too risky devilish habali somewhere they carry your name because a brother say wants to marry you and you say no then he carries your name to a habalist and the man has the effrontery to call your name let him try it after tonight listen listen i'm not motivating you i'm demystifying satan this fear of satan is why many of us never rise i cast out devils almost every day and i sleep sound Go and ask them. And nothing shall by any means. Whatever I do against God has nothing to do with Satan. This is between me and God. The law is nothing shall by any means. So that you don't just say I was angry. I shouted at my wife today. Hey, hey, hey. Satan is coming. You are joking. My shouting at my wife is God. I owe an apology. As for you, the casting remains so. Regardless of the condition. Nothing shall by any means listen to me i'm preaching to you don't let satan deceive you no sir god is not like that we have misrepresented him and it has given access access for the devil jesus finished whipping people and flogging people in the temple and went straight for a crusade and casted out all kinds of devils do you believe what i'm sharing with you the anointing it is the anointing that brings favor it is the anointing that brings increase there are some of us anything they give you remains like that forever there is no potential of growth i have seen people in my life listen i have seen people in my life that have been surprised you see them 10 years ago you see them 10 years later and ichabod the glory has the, they are still the same way same house same room same financial level i say ah luther continua victoria is scattered that's a cause never say that thing the bible said the path of the just it takes power to keep shining in this wicked economy that we live in someone just sees you and say uh -uh, you are the last born in a family of 12. what audacity do you have to say you will feed us there are families where is the women that feed the men do you know that no matter how hard working you rise up as a man something must happen to crash you shout no way Haba, there are families the men never reach 50 they must die and leave the children for the innocent women you see women old women in a place where are the men some of you they've already told you that the moment you are 25 there is a stranger that comes to you there is a secret nonsense marriage in fact there are some of you you did all kinds of occultic things by your parents you still have rings and the rest and now you are born again and you are now asking those demons have refused to go there is something you can engage in let me tell you that will shatter that yoke into pieces when i discovered who satan really was i stopped wasting my time i said so this is what has made me afraid you are not even the worst of all spirits come on now satan's assignment is to magnify himself in our lives he loves it when he's magnified out of proportion now don't get me wrong those who claim satan is cheap and he just give away 
I hope that while you are claiming that you have the requisite arsenals to ignore Satan just as a result of pride and say I can just quote a scripture he will eat you up and spit you out don't get me wrong Satan deserves that honor for being a cunning serpent for many years it is through knowledge that the just is delivered not through bold face for nothing are we together listen nothing changes in your life until the anointing comes you have to believe this hmm. time will never change anything in your life time will never change anything in your family time will never change anything in your marriage time will never change anything in your body when god wants to help you he introduces the anointing the holy spirit the custodian the conveyor of the anointing are we together in the bible when men encountered the anointing it spelled a change of story in their lives it was very clear that when the anointing came upon them it was time ordinary people in the bible aaron and his sons moses joshua down the line when the anointing came upon them they changed in strange and mysterious way someone is changing tonight someone outside is changing tonight you you may be among the crowds hear me some of you are even at the overflow there you are just standing and watching and saying god could you be talking about me yes sir yes ma he's talking about you don't mind what they have said about you let the anointing come on you and you will watch your life brothers and sisters change in a way and manner that will surprise you i have seen what this anointing can do to people I have seen people change in supernatural ways this anointing can translate to the power to get wealth that in two weeks two weeks 14 days a man's life can change he will be like god what is this what is this a gentleman shared with me one of one of my boys shared with me um a, a story very very touching uh, testimony the mother had been following this and i think it was just yesterday night or so the mother got an alert from somebody of over 300 and something thousand sent to her yesterday i don't know if she testified here or it was read i said they should come and testify think about that it takes power you have been tolerating a lot of nonsense in your life tonight you have to be angry and say lord i'm tired of getting angry with satan i need the anointing i need the grace what you are receiving tonight is impartation impartation is a transference of possibilities impartation is not the rubbing of oil on your head you can carry ordinary oil that you can use to fry egg or or cook rice and just say love blah, 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 just and rub on your head and you just rub something to make your skin moist it doesn't produce it, it, oil is not a charm this jar of oil you see will do you no good until it is anointed so it's not just because there is a jar of oil are we together now the jar will not just do you good just because it is anointed many people idolize oil idolize it. those things in themselves don't give you any power it takes power to come upon them by a vessel that is anointed to make it anointed tonight brothers and sisters i agree with god for you that your life will change tonight i agree with god that there will be expansions and explosions what will this anointing do to you tonight or do for you tonight number one this anointing that is coming upon you tonight will bring you into a dimension of strange favor write it down you need to know what the anointing will do because you've been receiving all kinds of anointings but what was spoken into the oil you have to believe it God has given us samples of breakthroughs in the course of these seven days. Favor is real. Favor can happen to anybody. Anybody. Strangers can arise to favor you. Yes, sir. You can have money and not have favor. That you have money does not mean you have favor. Favor is not about money coming. Favor is about men coming and whatever they come with. That includes money but not left for money alone if you have money and you don't have men coming to your life you don't have favor favor is known by the strange coming of men
to come and meet your need not to come and inconvenience you the second thing that this this anointing this impartation that is coming upon you is a strange grace for multiplication it's called the meme shark anointing please believe it there is a grace that can come on a man's business upon his career upon his ministry and take you right from wherever village you are and give you a voice it gives whatever you are doing wings in the spirit it's true can turn a musician's life around can turn a businessman's life around can turn a preacher's life around you are there seated and god do you know I don't know how many times I've had these testimonies. Some of you listening know it's true. How many times angels appear before people in meetings and transfer koinonia messages and leave. They come as human beings. A service is going on or after a service, give strategic people messages and then just walk away and go. Angels don't just act as if they are foolish. They act in response to what the Holy Spirit tells them. The anointing is the director of how and why angels function. Understand this. It's working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. Listen. The third thing this anointing will give you is unusual influence. Please believe it. Influence is not something you bully people to get. Influence is not an issue of age. Influence is not even an issue of I've traveled abroad. There is an oil. There is a grace. He said, because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, even God, thy God, has anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows. There is an anointing that can give a man influence. There is a strange grace that can give you influence among your contemporaries. You are the last born, but God gives you a voice. Listen, you know, one man of God was talking to me one time and said, Apostle, how come it looks like in your ministry you never lack excellent hands? And I tell him, you can't look for those people by putting CV. There is an anointing that draws people. That draws a kind of people. You will find the best of the best of everything in this ministry. It's not pride. I'm telling you the secret today. It's not just some searching around the internet to say you are good. Come. No. There is an anointing that brings them. When that anointing comes upon you, God can bring just five people to your life that will give you what 10,000 people cannot give. It's not always about quantity. It's about quality. God will give you two friends that will be equivalent to 90 friends in your life. The grace for influence i have seen how men of god have ignored this grace and they have tried to bully men of god they have tried to bully others they have tried to usurp on young people you are my son you are my daughter by force you are my this just because they are hoping they will use the people to climb it's not about all those things it's not about being mean you see me greet people here after service i'm hugging the children because this influence and honor is an anointing it's not by doing bold face and acting look i don't play child's play all that one is is is, is complex when that honor is on you people will look at you and not know the reason why people are strangely loyal to you the anointing brings loyalty in a strange way that's why god must make sure you work with him so you don't take advantage of people listen people don't just become loyal to a man just because no 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 it's not about giving people money you can give somebody money who will insult you tomorrow loyalty is not just by faking it's not even by wearing good clothes you can wear anything you want to wear there is an anointing politicians know this that's why they go to herbalist and collect charm and find out that it's like a whole territory becomes loyal there are great leaders who oppress people pastors who oppress church workers they are looking for loyalty 
you are praying for somebody you hear somebody say ah a jimmy is praying for me no i'm the only one you am the boss in this place that's insecurity this grace for influence can sit upon your life and turn you into a wonder i have seen what people has have done to this young man talking to you i've had to beg people to cut down on certain things so that people don't persecute me and say human beings are worshiping me influence influence it's not by manipulation there is an anointing that brings for influence and it's with all humility i say it you don't go around any part of this city and see one single poster one single handbill not for anything yet there are people there sitting on the fence look at the people that have come sitting on the fence five overflows there about seated everywhere over 47 nations of the world brothers and sisters it takes an anointing it's not just grammar i'm not the smartest preacher i'm not the deepest preacher in terms of revelation i pray for you that this grace will come upon your life and change you in a way that will surprise you hallelujah i travel all the time with the head of department of media and there's it's always a team of uh, from worship team media and then the protocol and he asked me a question i think it was early this year he said why don't you allow that the photos you have snapped or the encounters with some of the big people in this country why don't you allow let's put it on facebook you know ah this guy snapped with this this guy snapped with this one and i told him i said it's not necessary it's not necessary that you see me snapping with um following show like it or snapping with this person and i say oh you mean this guy he has met the vice president he has met this all those things are human ways of trying to get this anointing if this thing is on you ba, it's on you period if it's not on you it's not there it's as simple as that it's not about all this manipulation and so you go and borrow a jeep and sit down and say great is thy faithfulness it's not your car you are looking for respect no or you go and steal the picture of a crowd i'm not i'm not being sarcastic please don't get me wrong and say well there is a revival 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 and you carry another man's crowd and put and put pictures of somebody holding crutches whereas is why fake what can be real in your life there is a grace for influence lucifer carried it the anointed cherub that covereth he can cover a territory with his ideologies i have seen people on this earth with that anointing i have seen business people with that anointing i have seen families with that anointing hill song that's the anointing walking there you see those young boys just strumming their guitar yet you don't know what takes them all over the world there are people carrying that grace joyce mayer you listen to her and you are sleeping yet you cannot know why her book will go even to your village you go to your village and see somebody reading the book and you are wondering and say my cassette my my what they call it my my cd i waxed an album i'm just a few kilometers to my village it refused to enter there there is an anointing meme shark the strange grace that's what happens to the messages that's what happens to what god is doing in this ministry do you believe that this can come upon you yes sir can come upon you number what now the fourth anointing that i believe and i trust god i trust god with all my heart that you will receive is an anointing for strange signs and wonders strange signs and not just signs and wonders strange signs and wonders that through your own hands the things that god will do to you will begin to surprise you we just started the the public relations department this year and i remember one time meeting with the leaders and they were telling me of the dramatic miracles that are happening while they pray for people on phone now these gentlemen love god and they are filled with the holy spirit but probably they did not it, they did not anticipate that you can casually just pray there is an anointing that can come on a rod a rod ordinary rod and it will pass the red sea 
there is a grace for signs and wonders that somebody comes to you and says sister i hear you attend koinonia i cannot meet apostle but i hear you attend koinonia and you say what is it he may be busy but let me pray he has prayed for us that grace is working say you say let's just pray and he said father i lift up my voice to you concerning this woman i hear that supernaturally they need five hundred thousand by ten o'clock tomorrow i agree with you and by 1 a.m the woman gets an alert five hundred thousand dot she will run to you and say woman of god what did you even say she won't call you sister again it takes a woman of god to produce that miracle that you can go back home and say i came back from an impartation in koinonia and your father said what does what good does that do to us go and see all the letters that are piled in the table there number one they have said your mother is dying number two they have said your other sister nothing is wrong number three they have said your sister is about to leave her marriage next week because everything is in shambles and you say can you just give me a few hours you carry those letters and you know that these hands are an extension of the hands of jesus they are not just instruments to eat because something came upon it and you say father in the name of jesus i agree with you i agree with you and all of a sudden by the next day that man is sleeping and an angel of the lord appears why are you doing this to my daughter behave yourself it is because of this your heaven is not closing and she wakes up in the morning and the guy is there kneeling down he said let's let's make this work let's make this marriage work are we together some of you will take this anointing back to your churches and God will use it to help your various pastors. You know that they are sincere. Some of them love God and they are crying for these dimensions. But how to access it is what is not there. And God says, can you help that man of God? He loves God. But the reason why the church is going down is because there is no supply of this dimension. Signs and wonders supernatural signs and wonders supernatural signs and wonders the last thing that i'm going to pray for is grace for a dimension of kingdom wealth and prosperity that will surprise you if you don't believe it you can write the other four and leave this one it's unto you according to your faith i have told you i am very vocal i love the lord by the grace of God and with all humility, my passion for God and for the things of the Spirit has been vetted by the body of Christ. And so when I teach about finances and I talk about this, it's not in any way to promote carnality. But I will never sit down knowing the benefit of kingdom wealth and prosperity to the quality of your life, to your children, to your family and kingdom advance and deny that dimension, finding expression. It's a grace that is upon my life. It's a grace that is upon this ministry. And it's a grace that must speak in your life. I think his promise that says it so beautifully. That entering into a level of wealth and abundance will reduce your prayer points. And increase your prayer life. That your prayer's time will be spent worshipping God. Not saying, oh God, this rent. Oh God, tea. Oh God, there is no sugar. And you find out that you waste six hours crying needless cries. Oh, 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 oh. for wealth this grace for wealth if you don't believe that there is such an anointing called the power to prosper i've taught you that there are three dimensions of wealth there is transactional wealth wealth that comes by selling your value whether your education whether uh, an idea whatever it is that you take there is transformational wealth wealth that is given on account of a perception of your impact 
in the lives of people but the third dimension is called sovereign wealth wealth by the finger of god by the finger of god all of them are important but brothers and sisters for some of us the emergencies in our lives require god showing up like the man of war that he is we are going to sing this song one more time and i want you to open your spirit truly because as this impartation happens as this oil comes upon you to round up these seven days we are going to sing the song and then we'll pray please i want you to be tired of where you are in life be tired of where your family is hey, hey. works in this kingdom that we understand the systems of the kingdom and we engage them through knowledge and change not a few people command complete transformation complete transformation hallelujah let's pray father say it again father in the name of Jesus Tonight, Tonight I, declare I declare that I'm tired of my current level. I'm tired of where I am. I'm tired of where my family has been kept. Tonight, by your anointing, lift me to a new dimension. Open your mouth and begin to pray. New dimension in ministry. New dimension spiritually new dimension in finances pray oh lift your voice and pray shakata pata keta da balata pata re to wata lata keta shakata pata shakata keta shapata keto kete shalata e ri to wata
Isaiah 10 27 and it shall come to pass in that day tonight is that day and it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder and the yoke the yoke of delay the yoke of retrogression the yoke of begging as a generation that yoke shall be taken from off your shoulder Check. he said and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing say in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus, every cause, every, every yoke, every, every spell, every, spell. Every, enchantment every enchantment over my life, over my family, I declare that by the anointing, it is broken forever. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the authority. By the authority. In the finished work of Christ. I declare. To principalities. To powers. To familiar spirits. That tonight. I have been called. Out of every tribe. Every covenant, every, covenant, every, enchantment, every enchantment, the sins of my fathers, of my fathers will, no will no longer work in my life. I exempt myself. Lift your voice and pray. Every covenant, every enchantment, please pray, pray. Pray <laughs> Hallelujah. We are praying in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every veil. Every veil that has covered my glory. That has covered my glory. Every veil. Every veil that has hijacked my honor. That has hijacked my honor. In the name of Jesus. In the name of I Jesus. I tear that veil to pieces. Lift your voice and pray. Cover your glory. It says, Arise. Shine. Arise, shine, arise, shine, arise, shine, Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I speak. I speak to every.
every area of my life to every area of my life my spiritual life my spiritual life hear the word of the lord hear the word of the lord my body my body hear the word of the lord hear the word of the lord my finances my finances hear the word of the lord hear the word of the lord family life family life hear the word of the lord hear the word of the lord my career my career hear the word of the lord hear the word of the lord by the anointing by the anointing rise to destiny rise lift your voice and begin to pray every aspect of my life rise to your place in destiny Hear the word of the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Two more prayer points. Ah, yeah, yeah. There's fire burning in this place. Listen, the Bible says, listen carefully. It says, Saul, the son of Kish, Kish lost his donkey, it left him. It was his means of livelihood and it left. As soon as they encountered a man with an anointing, the donkey started going back home. Are you ready to call back things that have left you? Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every relationship. Every relationship. Every opportunity. Every opportunity. Every unction. Every unction. Every access, every access that left my life, that left my life by the anointing, by the anointing, I call you back. I call you. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Business opportunities, educational opportunities. I call you back. I call you back. I call you back. I call you back. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Favor. Favor. You are a dimension of the Holy Spirit. You are a dimension of the Holy Spirit. I open up my life. I open up my life to your influence. To your influence. Lift your voice and pray. Favor. Favor is not just a thing. Favor is a spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to be guiding on how this oil will be distributed and I'll give us instructions. But in the next two minutes, please. The specific issues that must live your life now, not tomorrow. Listen, now. If you don't have faith for it now, pray on something else. Are we together now? There are things in the Bible that say as they went. But there are things that the Bible says immediately. Listen, release your faith. I'm not a fool. Release your faith. Don't just sit down and say, can God make a wilderness overnight? Abba, we're talking of God here. If it's time for you to get pregnant as a wife, don't just look and say, I've not met with my husband. No. You get pregnant at the instance of the word of God. You're sick in your body. There is a load of challenge on you. There are demons oppressing you. There's all kinds of fire on your mountain. It's time for you to have a testimony. 
open your mouth in one minute and tell the Lord the things that must live your life. Every one of them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, please listen. Please listen. This is this is the crescendo of this seven days prayer. Many of you, what God is about to do in your life now, it will surprise you, ba? truly speaking, in a way that will make you respect God in a fresh dimension. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, there are so many people, and this is what will happen. Um, I'm going to appoint a few people now. In this auditorium, there may be just three of them. And then, overflow one, overflow two overflow three everything from the the last place of the fence of cgc right there is overflow four and then those standing at the back of overflow three just at the back of overflow three that's overflow five are we together now so this is the main auditorium so you understand what i'm saying overflow one all the people here overflow two right from wherever till the end of CGC fence. Overflow 3 is the main, um, the, 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 the space outside there. Overflow 4 is everything from the end of CGC's fence to wherever people are now. And then overflow 5 are those who are standing across the corner right to the other street there. That's, that's the overflow. This is what we are going to do. Please make sure that this oil comes upon you. Even if you have a child, even if the child is sleeping, just touch the child. You don't have to fetch the oil and try to idolize it. It's not about idolatry. Just a touch. You can take one if you like. Put on your head. And Did you bring all those documents? We are going to pray. Just leave them. Don't worry. Leave them there. We are going to deal with them. Please be patient with me. And let God surprise you tonight. Are we together now? Except it is not God that has instituted what we are doing. Some of you, you will not even be able to share the testimonies. You will watch, it will be, people will ask you, which charm did you hold? What happened to you? There are some of you in ministry that will go back after tonight. You will, you will stand like this and say, so this is how God works. This thing is not trial and error. God is a God of systems. Are we together now? So I want you to agree with me as we pray. Please, no distraction forget about this is not husband and wife now this is you standing between you and god this is not neighbor we came brothers and sisters leave anyone you came with this is your destiny with god now is not the time to laugh and pinch around like the devil who want to cheat many people now it's at this time where he told elijah if you can see he was looking but he said if you can see there are some of you as this oil comes upon you all of a sudden your eyes will be open and you will see strange supernatural things. So be sensitive. Hallelujah. Be sensitive. Um, what will happen is there are five, five. So we can do three, three. That means three bowls here. We'll fill it with the oil. We'll keep adding. And then three outside. Please protocol work so that we can arrange it. Please, I know that there are lots of people. The protocol people are smart enough they have been trained everybody will receive of the oil especially for overflow four and five please our securities please help us so that we don't have any chaos everybody just be patient the oil will get to you don't just try to hold it and try to turn it in a jar all alone be patient be patient if you have a bottle of oil after service i can pray for you on it but for now just cooperate please let's not make the place rowdy and let there be no fighting just cooperate with any official you see within your area and in a few minutes will be done while all of that is happening the worship team will be leading us and then 
we are going to pray in the name of jesus christ we lift up this jar this is ordinary oil you have led me to pray over it but father i pray by the anointing of the holy spirit we are not acting you are real lord prove your power in an unusual dimension tonight in the name of jesus lord i pray for every single person upon whom this oil will come those who are online you can get any bottle of oil or anything around you and connect by faith as i'm praying is reaching you there lord we call this the oil of strange results we call this the oil of wonder we call it the oil of favor we call it the oil of influence we call it the oil of increase and expansion we call it the oil of revival let prayer lives jack back to life let the gifts of the spirit be activated let mantles come upon your people in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the anointing of the holy spirit father strange dimensions in the name of jesus strange dimensions strange fire strange dimensions strange dimensions in the name of jesus be the first partaker of this grace be the first partaker the first partaker in the name of jesus the first partaker of this grace be the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus please come and hold this be the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus christ be the first help him please the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus now pastor jimmy will be here he'll be standing here victor um the protocol please coordinate it it's going to be very fast um just bring the jars turn them now turn them turn them quickly let's just fill them and then we'll go to the respective places please let's be in an attitude of prayer what you're going to do is just follow as they direct you once they receive it they'll go down there someone hold the jars i believe there's still some more you just touch it on your head don't touch it on any document don't worry we are coming there you return back to your seat you are blasting in tongues and prophesying everything that must appear in your life are we together now thank you lord jesus lord we pray that let there be miracles right now in the name of jesus so some of you will be watching them so that the ones that are almost finished as you can hold one you can stand here whoever is standing with me aaron please the rest speak it to your various places father we anoint this oil and in the name of jesus as it comes upon people let there be strange results from the main auditorium here overflow one overflow two overflow three overflow four overflow five change the stories of people in the name of jesus christ i pray hallelujah god bless you go ahead quickly quickly please we cry holy 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 Come to Yeshua, Shekinah is here. We cry, holy, holy, holy. Come to Yeshua, Shekinah is here. We cry, holy, holy, yeah. holy, holy. Come to Yeshua, Shekinah is here. We cry, holy, 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 holy. We release the sound of the heavens, sound of creation, Yahweh. We cry holy, 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 unto Yeshua, to God we Yahweh, Yahweh.
Shekete kata bata kata bata katuks. Rekata bata kata bata teka teka katuks. Shekete bata katuks. New dimension. New levels. New dimension. Source fruit victory. Source fruit victory. Keep praying. Don't stop. Keep praying. Shaka parakoto sutabala. I'm moving forward. Strangely manifesting the glory of God. Defying all the laws of men. Defying the expectations of men. Rising by the spirit. Rising by the anointing. Rising by the spirit. Don't be tired of praying. Something is happening to you. Something is happening to you. Prophesy over your finances. Prophesy over your health. The word of the Lord is upon you. The word of the Lord is upon you. No devil can stand this impartation. The word of the Lord is upon you. No curse, no spell, no divination, no enchantment. You are breaking out at last by the spirit of the living God. The word of the Lord is upon you. Send sent by his anointing keep praying don't be tired you're doing something to your spirit man the hand of god is upon you things are shifting in the spirit doors are opening ladders have been created preaching your expectation and your results outside pray those online use the oil you have upon your head and that of your family members and begin to pray in the spirit call for the things that be not 
don't doubt what you are doing this is how it works don't doubt what you are doing don't let the devil plant unbelief and make you think you are wasting your time no you are not the Lord will so surprise you Something special, supernatural about your name, Jesus. Something happens when I met. Hallelujah. Hold on. I know that there are still, especially for those of us in the overflows, we are still making contact with the oil. Don't stop. Just continue what you are doing. But please listen to me. Please listen to me. Hallelujah. I want you to pick up any point of contact that you came with. There is a strong anointing that I sense upon me now. any point of contact your document certificate whatever it is job sack letter court case letter whatever it is he said be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known let your request i want to pray for you listen let me tell you this i have learned by the spirit if you don't have any point of contact you can use your hand your hand is the symbol of your work your hand is the symbol of your productivity i have learned that everything on earth can hear it just depends on who is speaking are we together god has not called you i know for many of us this thing looks like is some form of for many of us this looks like it is some form of nonsense others will watch and laugh and you there at your house or wherever it is you are connecting with us from around the world it's not too late if there is nothing write your challenge and lift it before god and say lord this thing is not giving me joy your certificate whatever it is there's more oil here if there's anyone in need of it please make sure you participate all the overflows i want to pray i want you to believe if you have never believed a man of god in your life please just believe this once the bible says believe in the lord your god so shall he be established he said believe in his prophets this thing you see is not a vocation it's not something a man chose for himself i want to pray for you from the depth of my spirit i want to put an anointing upon those items i don't care what it is some of you are lifting your jam sleep for your jam tomorrow some of you are lifting your certificate you've been a graduate for 10 years 20 years no job some no promotion some is a threat letter by anything a court or whatever it is i want to pray for you I just need you to believe to agree with me some of you is your business ideas some is your crashing business some whatever it is 
now in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god the one who gave this anointing i decree i speak over every document and every point of contact represented in the name of jesus i command speed upon that document in the name of jesus christ for every document lifted that is a threat a challenge to a family to an individual to your reputation in the name of jesus i veto that situation now i veto that situation now every document lifted that is a certificate or a means that can be exchanged for value and the devil has grounded your certificate you are all graduates in your family but there's nothing to show for from tonight in the name of jesus i give that certificate a voice in the realm of the spirit i give it a voice in the realm of the spirit i command it to bring jobs to you i command it to bring opportunities to you in the name of jesus christ for some of you that which you are lifting is a photo of your loved ones representing the chaos in your family in the name of jesus may the lifter of men in a strange way lift every one of you out of any predicament out of every predicament for some of you what you are lifting is a medical report is a threat letter from hell that you have cancer that you have hiv that you are barren your tubes are blocked that you are important as a man in the name of jesus i change that medical report now i change that medical report now there are some of you what you are lifting is your project not just your school project job project whatever project that your lifting is dependent upon in the name of jesus i command all those who will supervise you to favor you there are some of you what you are lifting is your house rent what you are lifting is a building project that is not completed and there is no hope of raising money anywhere i decree and declare by the finger of god i call forth helpers to your life now i call forth helpers to your life now for some of you what you are lifting is your marriage certificate that your marriage is at the verge of tearing into pieces because of what the devil wants to do in the name of jesus i mend that home right now i mend that home right now for some of you what you are lifting is a missing organ in your body they say you don't have this you don't have that this is absent in your body whatever should be in your body and is not in the name of jesus i call for a replacement now for some of you what you are lifting is your atm card your checkbook or your phone as a sign in the name of jesus i declare the kind of alerts that will begin to come in the name of the lord god of heaven let it surprise you let it surprise you let it surprise you i pray for every ministry represented here whatever has created an embargo that you will not rise beyond certain levels that souls will not be saved through your ministry 
that lives will not be changed in the name of jesus i release an anointing upon you now i release an anointing upon you now go and do exploits in the name of jesus anyone in business here i prophesy to you i don't care what your business has looked like between now and the next two months may your business flourish in a way that will surprise you i say it again between now 60 days from today in the name of jesus enter a strange dimension of results hallelujah i'm praying for people here who are trusting god to give them properties if you have the faith for this prayer watch my god surprise you i decree and declare that between now and half of the year you may not even have up to 1000 naira in your account now but in the name of jesus i put properties in your hands i put properties in your hands let them mock you and see what god can do i put properties in your hands I pray for every student here if there is any result that is not your own that you are carrying something you know i don't care whether it's a mistake that was made in 100 level and now you are even spilling over help them please help them in the name of jesus by the ministry of angels i command a strange change of results a strange change of results a change of results a change of results hear me i want to pray for those who are not doing well you have done your best it's as if there is an embargo on your mind you are not lazy you study you enter the exam hall and everything evaporates when you fail you now remember take note something will happen to you now i decree and declare let an anointing right now i'm feeling it on my own head a strange anointing receive a grace for supernatural intelligence everywhere main auditorium overflow one two three i empower your mind ten times better ten times better i pray for our dear ones I hear there's jam from tomorrow am i right from tomorrow till when from today or oh, the road jam today let's agree i'm sure you know what god does with jam in this ministry i know you have read but you need a prophetic backing let's make this thing work once and for all in the name of jesus i pray for you in a way you have never seen may the holy ghost hold your hand and produce a wonder from your jam may the holy ghost hold your hand and produce a wonder from your jam i'm praying for you any mortal man on earth who beat his chest and say over his dead body for you and your family to rise i stand here and i answer his prayer anyone who said over his dead body for you to marry over his dead body for you to rise may that prayer be answered now may that prayer be answered now every devil every wizard every necromancer that manipulates the elements of life and declare that they will victimize you i command the earth to open and swallow them listen just follow me few minutes and we're done if there is any of you that your name has been taken to any shrine i don't care where and all kinds of incantations some of us come from very wicked families in the name of jesus not only will your name come out of there both the herbalists 
and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the harbalists and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the harbalists and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the harbalists and the sender may the earth open and swallow them I know you don't like what I'm saying. Don't mind me. Just let me finish praying. I say again that every territory, whether a village, whether a town, where there are controlling powers sitting on the destinies of men, that you do your best but you never move forward, I command a sword of vengeance tonight. I command a sword of vengeance tonight. Whoever has ignored you and trivialized the hand of God upon your life in the name that is above all names, let there be a strange unction on you tonight. An unction that will force everyone to record with the hand of God upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for every marriage and every home represented here. Listen, this is a ministry where marriages don't break and won't break. I believe in family. I believe in honor. One of the things the devil is doing is walking at tearing a nice man and his wonderful wife. They get married and the devil just gets up and comes to rubbish their lives. I'm prophesying right now in the name that is above all names every family in koinonia here that is shaking the devil in between that is shaking the foundation of that family i curse them right now in jesus name <laughs> hallelujah if there is anyone called barren you are connected to this vision and the devil wants to disgrace you by making sure you continue remaining without a child not tomorrow tonight your baby begins to manifest in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ let me pray for influence we're rounding up I believe in influence don't reject it don't fight it don't join people in a false sense of spirituality to cheat you influence is one of the ways the kingdom advances i decree and declare wherever you find your place i command you to rise above your equals rise above your contemporaries as a lecturer rise above your equals as a banker rise above your equals as a student rise above your equals they will seek counsel from you they will look for the word of the Lord from your mouth in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah let me pray for our finances thou hast caused men to ride over our heads we walk through fire and through water but thou brought us into a wealthy place listen listen we are not naive about what value there are astute business people in this ministry. There are multi-millionaire business people in this ministry. We are not in ignorance as to the fact that you can bless people and they can see what you have done. People bless me every day because they perceive that I've been a blessing to them. But there is the finger of God where for no known reason if if I've been nice to you, you can say, ah, apostle, you changed my life. Take time, Naira. There is a reason why you blessed. You see that? I didn't sell anything to you. I just took out time to change your life and you blessed me. If you employ me and I work for you, I gave my time and my value. So in return, you give me a salary. Is that true? But when the finger of God comes, please hear me. There will be no reason 
no reason except for the fact that Jacob I love, Esau I hated. You can be sitting down and God will raise somebody to rise up. Listen, not only bless you once, but say, I want to make this an addiction, a habit to bless you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. You have seen the money that came through your skill. Congratulations. Where is the one that came through the finger of God? You should be able to look at your finances and know that this 10 naira came because I got a good job. Thank God for that. This one came because I blessed a life. I paid a graduate a student school fees. Now he's working and he has come back to say thank you. This one came because I have a child. The child has become responsible and he has come back to say, Mama, na good day. But show me the one that came from the finger of God. That you know this one. Lord, I can't explain how this one came. I don't even know the name of the sender. I just saw one name or two names. The finger of God. You see, the problem we're rounding up with the body of Christ, we fight what we don't understand. And what we understand, we trivialize it. Why is God doing this thing? It's not just because we are money mongers and everybody is talking money. No, God is doing this thing as an act of his sovereignty to aid your reaching your goals fast so you can have time for him. Are we together now? You can see that CGC is doing a lot of work. By the way, um, I, I didn't even plan with them. Every single one should be part of this project. CGC, you can see this, this, this is a ministry that has been such a blessing to us. And honestly, I didn't even plan this with any of them. I've not even seen the pastor. As I just said this now, everybody should be a part of this. I know what the ministry, Koinonia, will do. I know what as a person I will do. I'm encouraging you. You can see our daddy prof or maybe the protocol people after the service. And you can discuss with them, how do I get my seed? 10,000, 20,000, 100,000, a million, whatever amount. And say, look, I want my seed to be here. By the grace of God, they are not looking for money to do this. God has been faithful. And they have been, you can see the items that they are. It's just, I'm sure because of this program, they decided to suspend what they are doing. I'm just using an opportunity to tell you, whoever you are, make sure that you find a way of participating in this. But let me tell you this. There is the finger of God. And I want to pray this. Because some of our families, nobody even went to school. So there is no issue of saying, Lord, give them a job. You see mama of 70 years, which financial intelligence are you going to tell her? That our rewards in life, all that thing you are talking, she's just looking at you. What are you saying? My son, I am dying here. A landlord, a young boy of 25, wants to disgrace a woman of 70 years. By 9 o'clock tomorrow, mama, get out of my house. And she says, please help me. That one, you don't need a financial seminar. You need the finger of God. This is where most of our families are. Lift your hands, let me pray for you. I have seen this in my life. The finger of God was designed to take away shame and reproach from your life. The finger of God was designed to come through for you. Quarter to shame. I prophesy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Beginning from this night and all through this weekend. By men you do not know and by those you already know. Even if they have helped you before. I command strange wealth by the finger of God. I command strange wealth by the finger of God. I prophesy to you right now. Listen, I want you to believe me in the name of Jesus. A stranger you do not know. You don't even know how he got your account number. I compel them by the spirit to bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the course of this prayer and fasting, a strange woman just called. She sent me a text and said, you don't know me, but I'm a businesswoman. Am I talking with apostle? I said, yes. I thought she wanted me to pray for her. And he said, the Lord spoke to me that there is a seed that I should sow half of it to you, half of it to the ministry. I said, madam, no, I don't do this. I want to make sure people work with revelation. Why do you want to do this? Have you discussed this with your husband? And she said, sir, with all due respect, 
I'm a businesswoman. I'm not a little child talking. I have children that are adults. So if I'm making a decision, I know what I'm doing. I said, I'm so sorry, man. Okay, I prayed for her and sent her the text. When I saw the alert of what this woman sent, I sat down and I said, God, what is this? What is this? Madam, do you listen to Koinonia? No. Madam, have you ever come for Koinonia here? No. Have I ever, Madam, have you ever come for Koinonia here? No. Have I ever prayed for you? No. Did I bless you in any meeting? No. Say the finger of God. See, most of us are used to suffering and hardship. We don't ever believe strangers can bless us. If I say, may God make your boss or your uncle, you say it makes sense because there's one money that I'm waiting for. Do you know me as a person? I have seen the account number of people in dreams and God asked me to bless them. They were just sitting and they saw alerts. They don't even have my number to call me. It's just pure obedience. The same thing God has done for people towards me. Not everybody is disobedient. God has not yet directed them to you. That's why they've not responded. I pray again. Father, I cry to you. This grace that you have put upon this ministry of strange supplies by the finger of God, I declare, let it come upon everyone now. Every department, from prayer department to worship team, ushers, welfare department every worker in this house every member in this house those following from every nation strange favor in the name of jesus now please drop your documents just keep your hands let me pray for your spiritual life now this is the final thing please take note i want to pray because of what will happen i want to pray we cannot finish this whole seven days without something happen to your happening to your spiritual life. Something must happen to your prayer life. Something must happen to your access to light. Something must happen to the grace for miracles and signs and wonders. Something must happen to your church. Something must happen about the gift of the spirit. Some of you have not seen it in your life. I want to pray for you please just guide the people whether or not um, you are an usher please because of what happens when I pray this kind of prayer please whoever is under the anointing close to you just help just guide them so they don't injure themselves lift your hands I want to pray one minute and we're done I long to see you that I might impart my God look at I'm seeing flames this is what I'm seeing all over right to the back flames lord jesus i pray right now by the power of the holy spirit the anointing the grace for prayer and supplication there has to be someone it is looking for receive that grace now receive that grace now take it now receive that grace in jesus name inside outside overflow one two three four five online i release that grace enter a new dimension of prayer a new dimension of fasting in the name of jesus we are still praying lift your hands mm. i pray for you you see the seeing eyes and the hearing ears belongs to the lord god must give you the eyes of an eagle the eyes that can see beyond just the letters i pray for you fire will come upon your eyes I command may your eyes be open to the spirit of revelation insights to scriptures receive it in the name of Jesus the gift of the spirit was given to the body of Christ the gift of the spirit we no longer respect it and so we are not established I want to pray for you whether it is the revelatory gift whether it is the utterance gift whether it is the power gift I tell you I feel fire in my hands I stretch my hands Lord where are they everyone who needs an activation of the gift of the Spirit in the name of Jesus at the count of three like rain from heaven let it fall upon you one two 
three take that anointing i command the gift activated now the gift of prophecy step into that dimension the eyes that can see i open you up to visions in the name of jesus christ all those who are called into the fivefold ministry and the grace is not yet sure you are not clear tonight i pray may an unction come upon you that you will know you are called may an unction come upon you sister may an unction come upon you brother may an unction come upon you i call for the catering coolmans i call for the emmy simple mcpherson's i call you by the spirit i call for the john g legs i call for the william samos god's generals of our generation hear the clarion call in the spirit i call you forth in the name of jesus everyone in your family that has not given his life to christ hear me if there is any unbeliever it could be your father it could be your mother i declare may the angel of the lord bring strange conviction to them in the name of jesus christ whether they are christians or not i pray that multiplied visions until they give their lives to christ every loved one who is far from here but connected to you whether they are outside this country or they are within this country the same power you are receiving tonight I declare may that same power come upon them the same result that your life will command tonight may that same result be given to them one last prayer and we're done whatever has closed the gate of speed speed in marriage speed in achievement speed in establishment for brothers in the name of jesus in this year of signs and wonders believe me between now and june i'm speaking a word of prophecy to someone achieve what you could not achieve in 10 years achieve what you could not achieve in 10 years between now and june 2018 achieve what you could not achieve in 10 years There are people, as I'm talking now, you are not in any relationship. But August will not meet you a single lady. In the name of Jesus. There are young men, as it is now, you don't have up to 2,000 naira in your account. But in the name of Jesus, by June this year, you will be having six, seven figures in your account. If there is anyone here called jobless between now and the end of march whether you applied for the job or not i prophesy to you get a job and be established thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting my head. I thank you for lifting. 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 My head. Everyone keep standing, scattered across this auditorium and the environment. Listen, we have been praying and fasting right from Saturday till now. There are people. You're listening to me from all the overflows and even the main auditorium you know that you have not made your ways right with jesus are we together now 
you have not given your heart to the lord probably it was during this fasting and prayer you were invited and you began to be interested in the things of god please no moving around there are people like that now because of the crowds wherever you are except for overflow one and overflow two i mean over the main auditorium and overflow two you can come right here to the front but overflow one i will ask those who are giving their lives to christ and rededicating their lives to move to their projector stand overflow three move to your projector stand overflow four and five you can move to the projector stand of overflow two you are here you are saying apostle i want to give my heart to jesus give him everything totally or you are saying apostle i love jesus but for some reason my ways are not yet right with him if you belong to that category as everyone is clapping for you quickly we have one minute for this make your way to the front quickly quickly koinonia appreciate them inside and outside quickly quickly is this the best that you can do if you are coming please run please run please run young and old jesus is calling keep coming keep clapping for them overflow one move to your projector stand overflow three and four move to the projector stand of overflow two overflow three those online from any nation you are following it's an opportunity for you the bible says ye must be born again i've seen the god of wonders work miracles for me those with gifts and talents spoke prophetically the mantles of the life 10 more seconds if you're calling quickly I want to see the power if you're coming quickly quickly make your way to the front hallelujah hallelujah now everyone who is standing in front of whatever overflows or standing in front of me lift your right hand and I want you to say this very quickly say Lord Jesus I love you and I believe in you someone guide the children they may not know what they are saying please someone guide them so that they are serious I believe in you that you are the son of God this night I hand over my life to you be my Lord be my Savior I declare that forever I belong to you I am your child I am your son and your daughter in Jesus name let me pray for you father thank you for these ones that Jesus died for I stretch my hands over them and I declare their sins forgiven I declare that the power of sin the power of flesh the power of the grave is broken over their lives now that every legal access that Satan has over your life is broken destroyed forever in the name of Jesus Christ I empower you right now by the Spirit to live a victorious Christian life may the Lord bless you and increase you cause his face to shine upon you lift up his countenance and give you peace in the name of Jesus Christ now all those standing there there will be officials our PR people will be around helping you for those in here follow the gentleman waving his hands all of you ladies and gentlemen this way follow this gentleman and then all the various um, overflows just follow the person directing you turn to the back you should see someone waving his or her hands follow them and there'll be a people to welcome you very very quickly hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed 
and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you